Hi, uh, in this video, I'm going to show you the difference between a single opt in and a double opt in um, when you use Kajabi. All right, so the best way to explain it is that uh, when somebody subscribed to your form on your website to get some sort of a newsletter or a freemium, they call it, um, you can do a single opt in which basically you send them the information and um, that's it. Whereas if you do a double opt-in, they have to do a double opt-in, which means that they have to, um, you send them an email and then they have to opt in and, or confirm that they want that information and that, um, that it, it, um, then it's pretty much, they're just kind of confirming that it's a double opt-in. And the reason why you want that was is because if, for some reason, if that email may have gone into their spam or their promotions tab on their Gmail account, in Gmail, there's such thing as promotions tab, uh, they may not be aware of that email. So you want to make sure that uh, you, want, you want them to double opt-in. So what happens is that if, they, if it goes into the spam or their promotions tab, they will never see that email. And so you want to make sure, and that has an effect on when you have a email, uh, let's say you're using Aweber or uh, ConvertKit or MailChimp, um, your number of uh, email, your your price, I guess, uh, your price coverage or uh, is dependent upon how many people is in your email database. And so, if you don't do a double, if you don't do a double opt-in, then you just do a single opt-in. So basically, you, you're uh, getting people into your email list and your email list is getting it would get to be like maybe thousands and then your uh your open rate is going to be less um because some of those emails are going into spam folders and you you never would you'll never know about it um and so uh there's pros and cons to that and and i um i think the best way uh to do it is when you're sending out a a, uh, a freemium or something that you want to send them and you want to confirm, I think that you should keep it at double opt-in, uh, just making sure that they, um, that they uh, confirm that they want that. Whereas if you uh, are sending them or they've actually purchased something, then it's, I think it's okay for them to uh, do a single opt-in. You don't have, like if they, actually purchase a product, then you can just send them an email without actually doing a double opt-in. So I hope that makes sense. Um, what I'll do is let, let's go into the back, uh, back end of Kajabi and I'll show you uh, what, how that is implemented in Kajabi. And so I am, uh, let's log into Kajabi and I'm gonna log into one of my clients, um, which we just worked on this morning and um, let's go into Kajabi in the back end and so what we did this morning um, previously we created a form and this is the form right here and this is the live webinar waitlist so they we created an opt-in form and so what that did what that does is um, we created a form and so as you can see here there are people that have submitted forms but they haven't opted in and so there's actually 31 people that have not doubled opt-in and so if you look at the people list there's actually people 17 people that have opted in so i'm just going to filter it by uh, the tag that we actually created a tag Let's call it um, wait list here, and we're going to apply it. And so there's actually 17 people that have a double opt-in. And so one of the ways that you can uh, convert a higher conversion, create a higher converting uh, double opt-in is by creating a thank you page. And so if let's go back to marketing and go on the forms where you have created that uh, opt-in. And so if you go to edit, 
and you go stroll down to the bottom and what you can do is you can make what you can do is you can create a thank you page just um, so once they opt once they get that email uh, actually no once they submit their form um, on that landing page they will get a uh, they will go they will be directed to a thank you page stating uh, to make sure to check their email to confirm their, that they want that information or they want that whatever it is that you're sending to them. And so here you have the opportunity to create that form. And so this right here is thank you for registering. And so what I'll do is I'll show you on the page builder here. This is the form that we created. Thank you for registering. And if you look at the form and you look at the customization, we just created a very simple thank you for signing up. We have sent you an email with further instructions on your next step. So be sure to keep an eye on your inbox. I mean, you can make this a little bit more elaborate, but we just created a really simple one um, so that she can create that sales page and so that we want to make sure that we get this. Um, uh, so right now we're just creating a minimal viable product so that she could actually start promoting the webinar um what happens is this form and you look at the submissions here um this is the people that have not uh, confirmed so what i would do is i would um you know this may take more work on your part is i would individually email each of these people I mean, you may not do it right now, but you may uh, have, you know, a, a VA or a, your assistant email them personally and ask them and just make, just confirm that they've, uh, to check their spam folder. Um, and so, I mean, if you're, if you have very small number of people, that's something you can do. But if it's, if you have a lot of people, that's something that uh, may be um, cost prohibitive. So the best way to do the best way to make sure that uh, they they double opt in is make sending them to a thank you page that uh, tells them to just check their spam folder all right i hope that was helpful um, subscribe to my uh, youtube channel to get more updates or uh, put your comments below if you, there's any other questions that you may have that i could help you with all right thank you